United, United, United. Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J and Manchester United have beaten Watford 3-0 at Old Trafford. In the first half, Watford were causing us a few problems, but Luke Shaw in defence, absolutely fantastic. I love that passion from Luke Shaw. Tackling a striker, like bang, you go nowhere. And I love wan attitude of doing the same. It's absolutely fantastic. Manchester United, as I said, the first half was quite even. Watford's causing us problems, but we're creating chances as well. Daniel James, Fred was creating chances. Bruno Fernandes was bought down by Ben Foster and the referee said penalty. So Bruno Fernandes stepped up from the penalty stop spot. Beautiful penalty. Made the score 1-0 to Manchester United and scored his first goal for the club in only his second game. Second or third game in the Premier League. Brilliant for Bruno Fernandes. Brilliant penalty. Bruno. Bruno. Really good. Then the second half, Anti Marshall went around Ben Foster and slotted it into the net. Brilliant skill. 2 0. Then Mason Greenwood made the score 3 0. Fantastic finish from him. But Manchester United, I thought we performed quite well. I wouldn't say perfect, but it's a good performance. And I'm thankful for that because we have moved into fifth place in the table. At the moment, we are in a Champions League spot because of Manchester City being banned from the Champions League, which is brilliant. For Manchester United. Will we win the Champions League? No, of course we wouldn't. But if we can get into the Champions League, what a brilliant end into the season that would be. We got Club Bruges in the Europa League, drew 1 1 the first match. So we have to turn that one around, hopefully. But we got the away goal. So hopefully that match will go in our favour. But you know, it's good to see Scott McTonney back in action. Team Chong come on and Igalo come on as well. Igalo almost rounded off a perfect afternoon by scoring, but just couldn't get his foot around enough contacts on the ball, which was unlucky because Igalo would have deserved to go against his former team. But anyway, what a reception Igalo got when he came on the field. He's an ideal striker to have on loan. So we'll wait and see what he does. Right, let's get on to the player ratings. De Gea, again, a seven. Thought he made some really good saves. Aaron Wambasaka, again, a seven. Again, fantastic attitude. The type of attitude... Where he brings down players like, bang, you're going nowhere. Harry Maguire, seven, thought he defended really well. Victor Lindelof, seven. Again, I thought he was really good in the defence. Luke Shaw is my man of match, nine. Just how many times did he deny Watford from scoring Unbelievable performance by Luke Shaw. Matic, Ogunhasahan, didn't think he did a lot wrong in the game. Fred, Sahan, thought he was really good. Bruno Fernandes, Ogunhasahan, eight. Perfect penalty that was by Bruno Fernandes. Absolutely fantastic. Daniel James... Again, a seven. I thought he was really good as well. Mason Greenwood, that was a good finish from him. 
or grenades and Anthony Marshall again a seven for that fantastic goal he scored against Ben Foster. If Anthony Marshall keep scoring goals like that, then he is going to be one to watch. He can still be one of the best players in Europe, Anthony Marshall, but he's got to start scoring goals more often. The last couple games, he's done really well, so give credit where it's due, Anthony Marshall. Brilliant. Sir Alex Ferguson up in the stands watching that. He was absolutely delighted what he was saying. And it was. I hardly enjoyed it. Great game of football. Then afterwards, I watched the Arsenal and Everton game. What a game that was for neutral. That was absolutely superb match. Really enjoying it. Football, when Manchester United play well, I'm really into it. I'm like, United, 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 United. The crowd, you know, just the atmosphere at Old Trafford was just absolutely fantastic. Watching it on the TV and hearing the crowds going, United, United, just brilliant. Old Trafford should be a noisy place and a happy atmosphere. Beautiful stadium. Right, so we got Club Baruj next in the Europa League in the second leg. I'll be doing the match preview on Wednesday to that. And also, Wednesday, I'll be doing F1 pre season test two day one review. And then on Thursday, I'll be doing F1 pre season test two day two. And then Friday, I'll be doing F1 Test 2 Day 3 review. So, yep, a busy week. But as I'm committed to Manchester United in Formula 1, I will find the time and fit it in. Tuesday, join me for my Q&A. I look forward to doing that. And do follow me on Twitter at Mr. Joshy JJ. And I just created an Instagram account as well. That's at Mr. Joshy J. The links will be down in the description below. Let me know your thoughts again. Who's your man of match? Get in there, United. More performances like this, please. Bye-bye.